Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Tariel Salt and in this video, we're going to review this awesome automation platform or automation app called Elbato. Elbato is basically an alternative for Zapier. If you notice that majority of the mainstream platforms, they all offer something called the API access. Basically, it's a way to communicate between apps to app. So in this video, let's dive in deep into this platform called Elbato in and out so you can start automating your business with no coding skills required. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So far, they have 60,000 users and 400 plus apps. So it's really important for these type of platforms to constantly add more apps onto their platform. Before you even start, what I recommend is basically come to their website, scroll down a little bit. You can see that choose the app to connect. You kind of want to check that the current app you're using, if it's uh, compatible with uh, Albedo. So you can see they have tons and tons of apps here, right? All the integrations has basically the same structure. They all have a triggering mechanism. And from there, we have action steps to follow. So it's it's kind of like if so type of logic here in terms of pricing here's their pricing table they have a monthly and annually based pricing so you can see that if you go with a monthly $16 is their cheapest plan however their free plan also covers 15,000 operations we can touch on this in a moment they are currently offering a lifetime deal on AppSumo you'll pay this app once and you own it for life if I scroll down a little bit just in case if you want to have a glance of what this is best for it's really good for developers e-commerce or if you have a marketing agency or if you run Facebook ads lead generation alternative for Zapier and it has GDPR compliant all built in in there and now let's come back to Albedo I want to show you guys in and out in terms of how to use the integration and the dashboard side of things so the first tab here is automation here is all the automations and they're going to be stored on this page and you can also create different type of groups for better organization I recommend you guys to click on groups you can group them into different categories and give them different names and second tab here is is apps. Here's a list of all the active apps that I've connected with Albedo at the moment. You can either connect your app here, click on add a connection, or you can do everything inside of the automation building steps. Either or, depends on what you like. So you can see that here's a list of all the apps. And I believe they are constantly onboarding more and more apps onto this platform. And also be very creative. As long as you have two apps, they all have API. Nowadays, 90% of the apps all offer API, right? As long as they offer API, API, you might be able to find it in this list. Each tab is super simple, nothing fancy or nothing really complicated. Again, you don't require any coding skills in order to use this app. Now what we're going to do is you can either build automation from scratch, which I'm going to show you guys how to do that, or you can actually choose from templates. In here, you can pull some inspirations, or you can also just drag and drop and start using it right away. And now I'm excited to build some automations with you guys together live. So you'll be the judge of how powerful some sort of automation tool like Elbedo can be. First automation we're going to build is basically connect the WooCommerce to Google Sheets. So every time when we receive a product from WooCommerce, so that ordered data will be automatically printed to Google Sheets. So let's click on the trigger step, search for WooCommerce, give it a click. There's different type of event we can choose from. Mainly I'm going to go for is a new orders. If you don't have a WooCommerce store, instead of you have a Shopify store, the entire logic is exactly the same. So once you have set up the connection between Albedo and WooCommerce, you're going to name your connection here. Once we're done with these three steps, now let's click on select. And now our first triggering app has been set up successfully. Now let's click on plus we want to add an action step right the action step as I mentioned is Google Sheets here is a list of all the action steps so in this case I want to update and create a new role every time when the order is placed and then from there we just want to set up a connection which is Google Sheets you can click on add connections basically give this Google Sheets a name let's do test Google Sheets you want to click on continue you want to click on grant access you want to choose that particular email you want to connect to connection have been successfully created. Once we get the Google Sheets connected, you can basically choose the spreadsheet in this drop down list, right? In this case, I'm going to go for this one. And you want to select that exact spreadsheet in terms of the tab and click on select. And now the last step we want to do is we want to assign the data from WooCommerce to Google Sheet. You can see that column eight right here is a specific date of that order, right? So now what we want to do is just in the search bar type date, and it will say the date the order was created. And then this first column has been finished. So basically you're connecting the puzzle. Tell 
calling albedo to connect this specific data to this specific column. You can see the column B is order ID and let's quickly search order ID. You can see right there, it's order ID. Column C, I wanna put a buyer's name right there and column D, let's search for last name. Here is a shipping last name of the buyer. Here is the email address. So buyer's email will be printed on here. So you can do as many columns as you want. Once we finish it, scroll all the way down, click on save. So the last option here is to check for duplicates in case sometimes you don't want to have a duplicate record to insert into this Google Sheets. So you can always check for default, which is don't check for duplicates. And now let's click on save. And now that's it. If you're ready to turn it on, just click on start. And now Albedo has turned on this exact automation is being successfully turned on so you can just leave it alone from now on every time when i receive a new order from woocommerce you'll automatically print it all the data that i assigned to onto this google sheet now if you want to edit and modify this exact automation what you can do is you want to pause it first and now we can start editing it or modifying it and you can add as many steps as you want think about it i don't want to get restricted with only two steps i can add one more step to say after printing that data to the Google Sheets, I also want you to email me as a notification email to my staff or myself or send a Slack message to my fulfillment team. Again, the sky is a limit. You want to be very creative here. So the second automation I want to do is every time when I enter something on this Google Sheet, I want Albedo to trigger an email and send it to myself or my staff. This time, the triggering is going to be Google Sheets. We want to select a new role created. In the connections, let's connect one of these Google Sheets account that we have. I want to choose this specific spreadsheet and I want to choose this specific tab, which is the order tab. Click on select. First trigger step has been loaded. And now let's create an action step, which is Gmail. And now let's select send email. In here, you want to add a brand new Gmail connection. You want to grant access to Albedo so Albedo can send email on your behalf. I already have a Gmail created. I'm going to click on select. Pay attention to these red ones. These three fields are required fields and the other ones are optional. You want to enter the sender email, basically whose email you want to use to send this specific email. And second option here is to have the option to use HTML or plain text. I just leave it alone as a default. From, I'm going to enter my own name in terms of who we want to send this email to. And now let's pull some data from here. In terms of Google Sheets, give that a drop down. You can see that the column E on this Google Sheet is email, right? If I choose E here, that means whatever email I entered here, the system will automatically trigger this email sent to this user. So let's leave that option there. And for subject line, let's make it a little bit more fun and dynamic. If you pay attention, column B is co-responsing to the order number. So in here, if I choose column B, whatever is in put in this column will be also displayed here. So I want to display something like order number. We've received your order. So whatever number is input here will be replaced dynamically. So you can see here at the bottom, I composed a, basically a plain text email here to say, hey, this is a notification that we received your order and start preparing for shipment. And then I want to display some more data to this customer or this person who placed the order, right? For example, now you can start it fill in the blank. Click on Google Sheets here. Look at, we just basically choose the right column correspond to the right field. You can see the first one is order date which is column A. So I want to click on column A. So let's select column B. So whatever data is on column B will be printed on this line right here. Column C and D combined is this person's entire full name, right? So I want to do column C and column D. Make sure you put that space in between. It's really important. So what I really did here is basically to create a structure or template of this email. And then I want to use the automation to do the rest, which is filling the blank. You're happy with it? Click on save. And now let's click on start. I want to do a quick test with you guys together. I'm going to put today's date order. We're going to do email I want to send to is this email. Let's say number of item is 10. Total is 100. Two seconds later. Immediately after entering the input, I got an email right away. You can see here's the email template we created earlier. Here's more detail about your order. You can see every field that I entered in this Google Sheet role has been printed or displayed inside of this email. So this is the power of automation. And that's why I really like tools such as Albedo or Zapier. And they really made the entire automation of your operation way easier. 
Now I want to touch on something called Albedo's internal tool options, which is super, super cool and way more advanced. Come to the trigger action steps and right below it, you can see this plus sign. I can either insert an action or I can click on tools. The tools feature here is what makes Albedo stand out. I mean, Zapier does offer some of these tools, but they're very basic and they're not really advanced like Albedo here. We have a table lookup here. We have a date and time modification. You can also run mathematical equations. And now I want to set a delay just to want to show you guys how that works. Click on automation delay, click on select. When someone places an order, instead of triggering that notification email right away, I want to set a five minute delay, click on save. If I start this automation, it's going to set this five minute delay and then send that email we just saw earlier. And at the bottom, we have three more options. You can start certain schedule based on the time frame. For example, if you have a marketing agency and you have an onboarding client, you only want to serve him for one month. Basically, you can start the automation beginning of the month and end it at the end of that month. So Albedo is automatically going to pause this automation after that date. So you don't just keep triggering the automations or delivering more leads for this specific customer. And now let's create the third, which is the last automations. I want to show you guys some more creative ideas. So we're going to call this automation test number three. For example, we're running a Facebook campaign for a client. We want to gather all the leads through Facebook and we want to print them on a Google Sheet again. And after inputting this person into the Google Sheet, I also want to merge this lead into the client's CRM system. Let's see how that works. Specific event I choose here is a lead ad. And here is how you connect the Facebook account. Click on connection and add a new connection. Name this my Facebook account and click on continue and you want to grant access, right? You want to grant Albedo access and you can see a new pop up just opened. It will automatically detect the Facebook account that I already logged in. You can see the connection has been established. You want to select the page in this drop down option and you want to choose the form and now click on select. We have a couple cool feature here is called automation operation mode. First one is real time. Second one is data migration. In case you already collect a whole bunch of leads on this form, right? Which is a Facebook lead form. In this case, I just want to go with the real time, meaning any point from this point and beyond will be covered. Click on save. And now let's see the action step we want to do is first and foremost, we want to use Google Sheets. The action step here is to create a new role. And let's click on specific Google Sheets. As you can see here, here's a new sheet I created. And then spreadsheet is a sheet number one and click on select. Here's all the columns detected on the sheet. You just want to print the data onto this sheet. For example, let's see what kind of Facebook data we can grab. Here is a form ID. We can print it on column A, form name. You can grab the lead ID in case in the future you want to check against because each lead is a unique, right? As the unique ID, you can double check for duplication based on this specific column. We have the ad and campaign ID so you can check which leads come from which specific ad or campaign level, right? And from there, we have a full name, email, phone number. And once you finish all this, scroll down, click on save. For example, sometimes client complain that they keep getting the same lead that we delivered to them. We can go with the second option, which is do not create a new record if a duplicate has been found. For example, column D is a leads ID. You can use this particular column to check against for duplication. Scroll down, click on save. So from there, let's be more creative here and let's click on another action step. We want to send a Gmail and we want to use that particular Gmail app and then click on select. I want to do sender email. It's going to be my own email address here, right? And then again, HTML, I'm going to go with the default. From is my name. To is my client's email address. Subject line, new lead, let's follow up. We generate a new lead for you. Here's more detail about this lead, right? And then now, since you create this template, remember all you to do is fill in the blank. I want to search for Facebook email. This is leads email there. I want to print it right there, right? Now I want to search for a name, not the forename, not the ad name, but the full name of the lead. Last option here is phone number. So leads phone number will also be displayed. So see what I'm doing here is basically generate that lead printed on a Google sheet that I can use for backup. And meanwhile, I want to notify that specific client to again, here is a client's ID here and click on save. We also want to merge this lead into that specific person's CRM system. So here you can search for that specific app. Sandfox is one of AppSumo's products, right? Click on Sandfox. In this case, this is again an email marketing uh, platform. Basically create a contact and click on connection. And here is my Sandfox account. I want to come to API section on the settings, create a new token. I want to name this token Albedo. So basically you want to dedicate certain tokens for different platforms. It will generate this whole bunch of codes. You want to basically copy paste of it and come back to Albedo and paste that access code 
which is token, click on continue. We have integrated our SendFox account. It's that easy. Here's the contact email address, right? Again, click on the drop down, search for email underneath Facebook. Again, not Google Sheets, it's on Facebook. That is Lee's email address. And first name here, let's go with the name. I'm going to go with the full name of the customer. And here is a list of all the different email lists I created for SendFox. So basically, you want to choose that particular one and click on save. And that's it. Let's quickly recap what we did here. We generate leads through Facebook ads lead gen form. So all the new leads data will be printed on the Google Sheets. Always a good habit to basically store this lead somewhere because you generated this lead, you own that data, right? We are sending a new email as a notification to the client that we generated a new lead for them. But if the client used SendFox as their email platform, we have also through the contact into one of their email lists. Once you're happy with it, and you can also throw them into different groups to categorize this. So all the automations will fall into this particular group. And then from there, I just want to click on start. And that's it. Now questions back to you guys. What do you think Albedo? Do you think this is a powerful enough automation tool? So what I recommend again is to come check them out. And then you want to come here to choose to check to see if the apps you're currently using, again, that could be different than what I use, right? To see if it supports with this platform. It is then definitely consider this. This is going to make your entire operation more automated. And also this is a white labeled automation tool. You can white label to your own use. So personally, we just barely scratched the surface surface of what Albedo can do and all the automations, all the features and drop some comments if you enjoy this video or specific request of any feature you want me to go through in a future video. I'm happy to cover them into tutorial format for you guys. Or if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and stay tuned for my upcoming more review videos on awesome automation apps. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.